This is the um, 2015 version of the setup movie for the gradient mesh intro for these four shapes. And the reason why I have this movie that I enlarged on the screen, you can see it's just a movie, um, is to show you what um, Illustrator used to do to how it dimmed images through the layer um, button. To actually double click a layer and to dim it through the layer was how we used to dim things. Illustrator 2015 looks a bit different. This is the same file that I'm about to go to that the one in front of you is. Okay, and this is the file you're to open up and start working on. And I'll show you at the end of this movie what it is. But look at how Illustrator 2015 dims images. Does it in a very strange way. The reason we dim an image is to see the drawing on the image a bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the layer and I'm going to use opacity instead of dim. So I wanted you to watch this movie so when you open up your file you can do what I'm doing, which is a good practice for you anyway. So I'm going to uncheck dim, okay, and I'm going to click OK. Now it goes back to full view, okay, and yours may have looked a little bit different on the screen, but this is what I want you to do. Make sure that you have unlocked all the layers and then select with the command key or the shift key all of these particular little radial buttons over here in the layer palette. Now on the top of the options bar would you please put in 50% on the opacity of each layer. Now you have exactly what I wanted which was a dimmed image. Okay I'm just moving it up a skosh. Now I'm going to lock that layer and that's exactly how I want this whole thing to be done. Now I'm also going to show you something kind of neat but then I'm going to delete it. If I wanted this to appear on a whole nother file, I would actually go in and select the radial button for the main template layer. Okay, and I'd hit Command C. Now I'd go to my new file which has nothing on it. Alright, you can see it's only got it's got nothing on it. And this was just the original layer that I named template. I'm gonna have to throw it away in a minute because of what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go over into the paste into the palette for layers and I'm going to go over here and say paste remembers layers is going to have a check mark now. See there's a check mark down there. Now I'm going to go to um, which is command F edit paste in front which means it's going to paste those exact images in the exact place they came from from the other file and it remembered the exact name of the layer. In fact it, if this layer had been named layer 1 it would have made a new layer, but because it was name template, it pasted in exactly the same place that it came from. Okay, I should Command Z back and show you that. I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to name this layer. Now I'm going to click away from it. Now what should happen when I hit Command F is that a new layer will paste in called template. That's what paste remembers layers means. So I'm going to throw away layer 1. But what I really wanted to show you, whoops, I just duplicated it. I'm going to hit Command Z back because I want to place those images and show you how to set up a file correctly. So I'm going to hit Command, um, I'll show you where it is, Shift Command P to place. I get this window to come up. Now I'm going to click on the first mesh image, which is his hat. And I'm going to say place. And I'm going to click. And then I'm going to um, hit the E key and I'm going to put that one in about the same place that I had it before. Okay, yours will already be set up, but I just wanted you to see. Now I want to make sure that it's linked properly because I went too fast in that window, so I'm going to bring up the links window. When the links window actually says the name of the file and there's no little PIC, P-I-C icon over here, that means that it linked properly. Okay, and that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to make sure it isn't linked properly. And I want to show you how to relink it. So I'm going to delete it. Now I'm going to go to Shift Command P again, and I'm going to place in the image, the same image. But I'm going to uncheck link. Okay, see how I unchecked it here? I'm going to say place. Now I'm going to place it in again. See how there's a pick icon over here to the right? That's a danger. That means that, that this picture, if it was 2 megabytes or 3 or 4, it's, it's embedded in the file. 
And if the picture is two megabytes, then your Ill Illustrator file is automatically starting at two megabytes. Now imagine me having four or five pictures in here without even me doing any work on the Illustrator file, it could be 10 megabytes. So we like to link our images. So I'm gonna do it one of two ways. I'll delete it and go back and recheck the link button or I'll use this little command over here which means relink. And I'm gonna go over here now and I'm gonna find the image. Now I'm gonna click the link button and now you'll see that the pick icon removes itself from here. Now I'm gonna click back to the other image because I want to have the arm on the upper right, the shoe down on the lower left and the pants on the lower right. So I'll click back over here and I'll go back leaving this layer selected which I'm gonna name template. I'm now going to go leave it selected. I'll hit Command S to save the file and I'm gonna go Shift Command P and I'm gonna bring in the arm and I'm gonna place the image making sure the link button is selected and now you can see in the links palette how that is already set up. Now I'm gonna stretch it up a little bit and make it bigger. Um, maybe just a little, that's good. That's a good size right there. Maybe he wants to get a little bigger too. Okay, that's good. And now um, I'm gonna go um, get the third image. So I'll go now Shift Command P and on the lower side on the left, let's put in the shoe. So I click and I, I'll make the shoe a little bit bigger. Yours is already the, the size that I want you to work on it. So I'm just showing you how to set up a file, okay? Now I'm gonna go click on the initial layer again and Shift Command P and let's get the pair of pants and put it on the lower right side. Now the pants obviously were a bigger file so let me put it up in here and now I'll shrink it down just a pinch. And now this is how you would set up your file, okay? Now let's click the template, um, let's click all four images here or I'll click the template button and I'll put in 50% on the template. And now it dims, you could either do it to the each layer independently or you could do it to just the template layer. Now how you set up the file is the following. I'm gonna duplicate the template layer. So now I've duplicated it, I'm gonna double click it and name it Clicky. Now that one's gonna stay on the top and I'm going to make sure that I select the radial button for it and put it back at 100%. This is what you eye drop, but it always remains locked. And the template layer always remains locked. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click a bunch of layers inside of here and these are the layers you work on. Clicky remains at the top, template remains at the bottom, and they both remain locked. In fact, if I start working on layer three, I'm gonna make sure even though nothing's on them that I get used to locking everything else up. Remember in Illustrator, only one thing remains locked at one time. Now let me zoom in and pretend we're gonna work on the arm or the head, I don't care. And now, Look at how I can flip on and off the clicky copy. Look at how it matches beautifully and we're ready to go. Now I wanna give a tiny little one minute to this. If this gets to be a very complex file, sometimes it takes a long time to save a file. And what I want to do is to show you on a Mac or on a PC what you can do to make it more efficient while you're working on the file. So the first one I'll just tell you that I left PDF on, and let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hit Command Shift S to save as. I'm gonna save over the file, and I'll get this window to come up. Now when this window comes up, do you see where it says Create PDF Compatible File? Well, I'm gonna turn it off, and I wanna click OK. Now it's going to save a lot faster each time I hit Command S to save because it's not writing a PDF code. But here's the but. If you're on a Mac, from home to school and school to home, there's two things I want you to know. The first one is that you can leave PDF off, OFF off. But if you have a PC at home and you're working in a Mac in a computer lab or at another house, before you leave the workstation, turn PDF on. Then copy your file to your removable drive. When you get home, Put it on your machine and turn it off. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hit Command Shift S right now and pretend that I'm going home to work on a PC. I'm gonna save over it like I did before. 
And before I leave the computer lab, I'm going to turn it on. Now I'm going to click OK. Now it's ready for transportation. Now let's pretend you've already gone home and you're now going to put it on your desktop or anywhere in the computer. Now the first thing you do before you start working is Command Shift S, not Command S. And you save over itself and now you turn it off and you work all day at home with it off. It will go faster. Then at the end of the day before you need to go back to the computer lab you have to save as and turn it on. So I'm going to make sure on this machine that it's turned off because I'm on a Mac and I have Macintosh at the computer lab. So I'm going to hit Command Shift S, save over itself again and I'm going to make sure it's turned off and it is. So everything's good and I'm ready to go. Okay, so you usually draw something or manipulate the gradient mesh as you're going to see on the next four files with um, the clicky copy on or off. Okay, but you will see when that occurs and you will see why I do it. So right now I'll go on to the very first movie to start working on his hat. Okay, thank you.